The accident took place after the train smashed into a buffer at the Francia train station early Friday morning. For more on this story, we can go across to our correspondent, Sarah Mor Morris. Sarah, what more can you tell us? Well, I can tell you the latest injury toll. Uh, 54 people injured, uh, one person seriously injured, 19 people uh, with slightly less serious injuries and 34 people with light injuries. And we've been hearing already from the passengers on that train uh, who survived, who got off uh, who told us basically that as the train was pulling into Barcelona station, it hit the barrier at the edge, a metal barrier, which seems to have forced right the way through uh, the front part of the train where the driver was, uh, break, broken windows. Uh, people were standing, uh, waiting to get off the train because it was at the terminus. And all those people were thrown to the ground. Uh, many people have gashes to their heads cuts and bruises um, but thankfully uh, say the passengers uh, no there were no fatalities uh, we know that the uh, ministers of the catalan government and the in, um, the public works minister of spain have all gone to the scene uh, to find out exactly what happens it's a very initial investigation and what they uh, don't know yet is why uh, didn't the uh, train manage to break in time. Uh, one of the interior ministers from the Catalan government said he managed to speak to the driver who was in some degree of shock. I think he will be questioned at more depth later and he said that the train wasn't going too fast. Sarah Morris reporting there from Madrid. Thank you very much for that update.